100 FM, the Pike, Worcester's Rock Station, and Tom Petty, who is actually, we might be hearing from Tom Petty in just a little bit, because he's one of the finalists for uh, Shoulda, Coulda. It's Tom Petty's It's Good to Be King, or Neil Young and Pearl Jam's Downtown. You vote. You can vote at 508-799-PIKE. You can uh, text there, or uh, with our unscientific poll on our X slash Twitter feed, at 100 FM, the Pike. Uh, and we'll find out who wins coming up in a bit. First, though, on the phone right now, we have uh, your Worcester Railers COO, the head cheese, the Grand Poobah, Mike Myers, who touched me intimately in front of the Turtle Boy statue a few years ago. I don't know if you remember that, Mike. Oh, I... Is he? Oh, is he not on? I remember it. Oh, hold, hold on. There it is. I'm sorry. That's my bad, Mike. I had the wrong thing up. <laughs> you got me now? I'm, yeah. I'm surprised you're still on the phone after I said that. <laughs> yeah, I still can't. I can't unsee that moment in my life. I, uh, you know, I worked out specifically because I knew I'd be shirtless in front of you. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, seriously nice though, firm canvas. To to remind people, I lost a bet to Adam Webster. The Islanders beat the Bruins in the playoffs a few years ago, so I had to shave my chest. And Mike Myers, who is quite the artist, mm. in fact, you used to do uh, goalie masks, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, he painted a really nice Islanders logo on my chest. I was kind of bummed I had to wash it off and that I was not an Islanders fan because it looked really nice. It was a memorable morning. <laughs> it was a memorable morning. <laughs> I hope never have to At do it again. At the Turtle Boy statue. At the Turtle Boy <laughs> statue. Turtle. Right, with a real turtle. I had, to, I had to like reenact the whole Turtle Boy thing there. In Good front, times. In Good front times. Of the world and everybody. But, uh, I my, think the turtle's still in therapy. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. I would agree. Mike, thanks for joining us, and uh, we sure. mainly got on to talk to you about what's going on Friday night, the first time in professional Worcester hockey history, I believe, you are having an autism awareness night for the game. We are. And what? so what does that mean exactly? It, you know what, it gives our, our, our fan base a, a chance if they have uh, somebody who's on the spectrum and can't enjoy a, a regularly – programmed game to come and enjoy Railers hockey. We have, um, you know, a lot of sensory friendly features going on. It's, you know, no goal horn and we're going to turn Adam down to one. And, oh, good uh, luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You got to give him a sedative. Me- <laughs> I don't know how to whisper. I have a whisper deficiency. I'll give it, I'll, I'll try to, I'll try, I'll try. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, and you know, we'll do other things like the lights won't, um, won't go down to zero. So we'll even during like the intros, the, the lights will be on, mm-hmm. um, you know, the music volume will be, will be lowered. The, the lack of gold horn, we will have gold music. It will come on, but things are going to be done in a less um, like jarring way. Mm-hmm. Um, some of the feedback we received from um, different agencies that work with the uh, autistic population and different teams that have done it in uh, other leagues and, and throughout our league have, have given some great uh, sort of best practices and shared what's worked well for them. And, and it's a lot of the, a lot of the things like uh, just sudden, sudden loud noises, um, unexpected um, noises or, or changes in, in scenery and, and flashing lights. So we, we're going to just dim down some of the, some of that programming so that, um, we can, you know, open uh, up our product to just a you know larger, right. larger fan base. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I always bother uh, Smo about this, and I'm asking this in actually in a serious way. What about stuff like intermission? Like uh, the activity is going to be different. Are you still going to do like the pie eating contest? Is that something that's still going to yeah. go on? Yeah. So the, again, a lot of the programming will be the same. It'll just be it'll be toned down and a lot okay. less uh, in your face. So. Okay. Um, you know, things like the noise meter are going to be changed a little bit. And we'll, you know, we'll, we're asking our fans to sort of join in and, and welcome, you know, this, this community, this part of our community that uh, may not have been able to join us before. And, and I think it's a great thing. I mean, the railers from inception have been about access, whether it's, uh, you know, economic or, or a physical ailment or, or, or mental, um, you know, it it doesn't matter. We're, Mm -hmm. We're here to try to, provide a product for everybody and 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 we've always believed that hockey is for everybody so right um you know, this just sort of plays along with that i have uh, josh dolan here in the studio he's one of our promotions assistants and he mm-hmm. actually it's very personal to him because josh your sister is on the spectrum and yeah. she's never been able to 
make it through a game for some of those reasons, right? Yeah, and I always thought it was just because she hated hockey. But <laughs> she, like, whenever we would bring her to a game when she was younger, she had to, my, one of my parents had to bring her out in the runway or leave the game with her because she just couldn't handle it. Like, mm-hmm. we brought headphones with her, and it didn't dawn on me until you said, like, all the sensory things. I was like, oh, that makes sense now. Right, like, right. Actually, yeah. Mike, you're, you, uh, the Railers are going to open up an area for kind of like a rest area like a quiet area yeah we have we have a we have an off concourse uh private room which is usually used for uh you know private functions during Mm -hmm. during in a game and uh called the rail yard that's going to be our cool down zone so anybody looking to take a break like josh said somebody just needs to have a second to just get a get away from the uh the stimulus and, Mm -hmm. and or stimuli and uh and really just take, you know, get themselves, you know, reset and, and come back as, you know, they have a place to do that. Yeah, this is this. I think this is great. I think, uh, you know, and it's the inaugural night and hopefully it'll go well. Uh, so that's Friday night and you guys are playing. Uh, Tro- is it Trois Rivières? Is that how you say that? Trois yeah. Rivières. Trois okay. Rivières. OK. <laughs> three Rivers. You, yeah, yeah three, rivers, basically. three Rivers. <laughs> yeah. So that's for the Three Rivers game Friday night at the DCU Center. Uh, for people uh, on the spectrum, uh, they are going to try to make it as accommodating as possible uh, for f- folks on the spectrum to enjoy hockey. Uh, real quick about the team uh, on a hot streak these days, and uh, this this new goaltender, uh, John Muse, uh, goaltender of the week in the uh, ECHL. That's because uh, you guys yeah, sent really- uh, you sent he Teak who who went up Henriksen. No, what was yeah, it? Hen- Henrik, Hen- yeah, Henrik 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 uh went up uh, this past uh, weekend. Actually, got his. Got his first AHL win on Friday night nice. uh, for Bridgeport um, out in uh, out in Springfield in overtime. So that was uh, we're happy for him. It was his uh, first. It was his first start, and uh, and then you know we had to uh, do some digging, uh, find a, a different goalie. Uh, he was actually Muse has been um, with us for a week and a half, two weeks at that point, and um, and he yeah he got his uh, first start this weekend down in in Reading and. And uh, got a shot out. Of course, he did. He's you know a 35 year old gamer. This guy uh, yeah. is a is a journeyman at this point. I still think of him as you know a college kid. But uh, <laughs> he uh, yeah he was a he was a stud in college. And uh, you know he my favorite memory of him is my my third was born in between the periods of uh, the second and third period of the 2010 uh, Beanpot, and um, and he won that one. He had a couple oh, wow. national championships. Wow. He's a Kelly Kelly Cup MVP. So the guy. Guy knows how to win, and um, and we his veteran presence and just his um, his personality has been just a great addition to the room. And um, yeah, we were able to grab seven of eight points um, yeah. uh, in the past four games, and actually eleven to twelve if you want to include the two home games the weekend before. So yeah, the boys are boys are playing well. They're they've um, they really sort of uh, come together in the room. It's a it's a great room. A lot of guys you know, pulling for each other. So it's uh, everything you want as you're coming into the into the new year. And uh, the college that you were talking about, Boston College, uh, John yeah. Muse was from, right? Yeah. So local uh, local kid and there you go. Yeah. Uh, Boston College. So yeah, Friday night autism acceptance night and uh, Saturday night uh, Worcester Railers back in action. Both games at the DCU Center. Show. All right. Hey, Mike Meyer, COO of your Worcester Railers. Thanks for taking the time this morning to talk to us. We appreciate it. We'll see you on Friday and Saturday night. All right. Thanks, guys. Always great talking with you. All right. That's Mike.